Okay, so here I have is a HDMI scaler. This converts 1080p to 4K. The part number is R014 SCA HDP. So as you can see, it's a pigtail. It takes HDMI input, it scales up, and then this goes to the TV output. Since this is going to be a 4K, I'm using a 4K TV. The TV supports 4K 30 hertz. And for sort, but however, for the source, I'm only using a regular Blu-ray. The Blu-ray only supports up to 1080p. The reason I'm doing this is because we're going to scale it using the scaler to 4K. So let me first start off by connecting this unit, the player, directly to the TV. So I'm plugging it right now into the TV. The TV is on. I'm gonna first do a before and after. I'm gonna first play it with the t the player directly connected, and then we're gonna enter the scalers and see. I'm gonna show you what the difference. So. <laughs> So here, videos are playing up. You look at the screen up there, it says 1080p. So that's what's being played, 1080p video right now. However, so now, you know that player is only 1080p update. So now we'll go back to the home, the title screen of the player. Now, instead of this directly connecting it to the player, directly connecting the player to the unit, I'm gonna connect this to this scaler first. Okay, and then this can also requires power, so I'm just going to make it use a micro USB power that I have connected to a micro USB uh, to a USB port on the computer, on the actually on the TV. I mean, plug it in, and then plug this back in, into the TV. Now, still it says 1080p, but before we do that, I'll do a couple of settings. In order to convert 4, 1080p to 4K. We have to change the settings real a little bit. So your resolution has to be 1080p. That's one thing. The main, the second main important thing is it has to be the movie frame has to be 24. It could be either it say either movie frame or hertz or 40, 24p, whatever. Depends different players, different models saying it, but that's what you have to set to. So here we set the 40 movie frame to 24. So it's on, and then deep color. I could, you can turn it on, could leave off. I will just say, let's do auto. Since it's not extended, should, there shouldn't be much of a difference. Okay, so there, this is that's my setting for this player. Now, immediately, you already saw some changes, but on the, I already saw some playing output, but I'll just go through it first. Now, for auto digit output, you I, for this player, I'll have to select like PCM, since there's no auto section. So, it's like PCM. If you do other audio, select the other audio, audio, audio things, that's only if you go through remote receiver and that might have caused problems. So from here, I'm going to hit play. Immediately, once it plays, you notice the TV, the play, it changes to 2160p. Which basically is 4K, 2K. So, with this, everything's already working as it's supposed to be. But let me try to go to the... Let's go to like the disc menu, just play a quick scene. Okay, I'll do a quick scene selection. So with the scene playing, video, audio go good, and still look at the resolution, it still says 2160p. So everything looks fine. 